my name is Rachel Ann. Um, I am a 2015 graduate of UC Berkeley. I was a political economy major. Um, and right after graduating, I got a job at Google. I'm currently working in the legal department. And I've been working here for around 10 months. As a political economy major, I was exploring the different career paths um, that were open to me. And I realized that there weren't necessarily um, a set group of jobs um, that were open for political economy majors. And I think that was the general case with a lot of different majors um, at whatever college you're at. Unless you're specialized um, to become a doctor, unless you're on the route to become a pharmacist or something very spe um, specialized in that area, I don't think uh, there's a defined path to go. So for me, I was looking into different jobs. I looked into marketing, um, I looked into legal positions, um, I looked into research positions, and this was one of the many jobs that I applied to. And I know that it's pretty different. I think political economy, um, you wouldn't naturally associate that to um, being in the legal department, but I applied to the legal department because I felt like the skill set um, that I was given as a political economy major was transferable. As a legal um, to work in the legal department. I think for me one of the biggest blessings um, was that I was born in the States and I grew up in Australia and Hong Kong and it really um, widened my horizon um, in terms of scope, uh, in terms of understanding different cultures, experiencing, experiencing different cultures, um, learning different languages, um, being up to date with different um, cultural events. I think for me ultimately one of the biggest and the best experiences for me was probably my high school experience when I went to United World College, um, where I had roommates from Brazil, um, the Netherlands, and all these different countries. Um, and interacting with these people really does help. And I think keeping on top of the news, I think that's something that a lot of the people in our generation, um, they forget to do. So yeah, probably that. So I think a lot of people seem to mistake that you have to meet this criteria, you have to be this, this, and this, you have to go through this, this, and this to become a Googler or to, to work at any other big firm. But I can speak for Google, I think I can speak for as a Googler at least, that that isn't necessarily the case. It just depends on what situation you're in, what they're looking for at that specific time. Um, and I think the best way to move forward is to make yourself the best you you are at the current time. I think the past 10 months for me at Google have been an ex amazing experience. Um, I really enjoy every aspect, um, especially the free food. Um, I think it's just the company is made so people really enjoy um, what they do, enjoy coming to work um, and have a passion. A lot of the time there's a general passion for what people do. Um, my team in general, I really like my team uh, because in general we're, we tend to be a lot younger um, and Google's culture creates a system where new Googlers are called Nooglers um, and there's special treatment. Um, there's like a ramp up period, they ensure that they're given certain resources, um, given access to a lot of um, different opportunities to learn. Um, so I think that was great. And in terms of working together, um, one thing that I was surprised about, I've interned at different finance companies before too, and I think one of the issues that I had was there was so much hierarchy, um, but here it's a lot more, if I have an issue, um, I can directly take it to my manager. Um, we're able to work as peers um, a lot of the time with um, people who are higher up, um, which is probably one of the biggest perks of working at Google. Um, and I think a lot of people are recognized for what they do. Uh, if I run into problems um, working with coworkers, which I really haven't done re um, in my 10 months, I think I wouldn't have a problem um, bringing this up to anyone else, bringing them up to themselves, uh, bringing this up to them directly too. I don't think that would be a problem because I think there's a general culture of accepting constructive criticism. Um, because ultimately it's to benefit the other person. I think there's a lot of, I think people aren't aware of the cultural values inside Google. Um, but personally, I think after coming into Google, um, it exceeded my expectations as a company. Sometimes um, I wake up and I wonder, do I really work for this company? Does this company really exist? Just in terms of company culture, team culture, the people that I interact with, the people that I meet, um, I don't think I would 
get the chance to meet these people anywhere else. Um, and just even being able to walk in, grab a cup of coffee, um, free food, uh, get a massage. I think it's just, they've thought of everything that could make this ideal company to work for. And I think Google deserves recognition um, for being the company, the employee focused company that it, that it is. Okay. So my favorite thing has got to be food. I think um, there's just so much diversity in terms of food, which just makes happy workers in general. Um, secondly, I think Google's values overall um, and its diversity um, into what it does, its different products. Google Nest, for example, um, is it makes home products. Um, it's just so interesting to know um, how Google's diversifying every day. Um, and I think the third thing for me personally is team culture. I think there's like a close-knit community um, and I think everyone watches out for each other. Um, there's I just think it creates a great environment to work um, as a company. So I would have to say food, um, company overall in terms of where we're diversifying, and three, the team that I work with. I think for college graduates, um, the biggest thing that no matter what company you're applying for, um, is to do your best academically because this is the kind of advice that I give to everyone. Because um, if you're applying for a job and the resume is the first thing you show them, um, as a college graduate, what you can show them is your internship experience and what else shows up, picks out. It's GPA, right? So I think studying, um, excelling academically is really important just because in the end, it's what you can show them as a college graduate, that you did your best in the position that you were as a student. Um, and it's also great because once you graduate and you have that GPA you want, you won't regret what you did um, while in college. And it's a great springboard, jumping board, into whatever next step of life you want to go into. Um, so I would say focus on GPA. Um, also focus on internship experience. If you don't have any internship experience, um, I think that's a really big no-no in my experience because if you haven't um, dabbled into different areas, how do you know what you're interested in? Um, I tried different finance internships and I realized finance isn't the, the route for me. Um, so another piece of advice is if you don't have any internship experience, what I did was I took a semester off and during that time I researched at Beijing University um, on pub public policy. Just things like that, trying different things. So um, yeah, I would say those two things.